In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to determine if a folder exists in C Sharp. Later in the video, I'll show you a huge mistake many people make while using this technique. So how do we determine if a folder exists? In the system.io namespace, there are many classes for working with files and directories. So we can use the system.io.directory class to achieve our objectives here. Note that Windows refers to folders as directories. There is a method called system.io.directory.exists we can call in our code. There's one constructor and just a string argument. So we need to send in the path to the directory we want to know exists. Here's some example code for finding out if a directory exists. So we include using system.io, so system.io namespace is used. We make a string object with the directory name. We want to check if that exists. So we just call directory.exists passing in as a parameter the directory name. Then we have an if or else. So if it exists, we do something else. It doesn't exist, so we can do something else. I'll put this code in the description below if you need it quickly. Typical problems. You might have noticed we were using this. This code won't actually work. Uh, why is that? Something to do with this. The slash T is interpreted as a tab character. So if you are entering file names into strings, be very careful of avoiding this. So we need to escape the backslash in a file name. We can either use this, so an at sign before the string, or we can put two slashes in. Uh, I tend to prefer the latter method. If you're using network drives, then it's slightly different. Network drives normally begin with two slashes. So you simply put four slashes in and another slash for the subdirectory. Finally, remember that Windows file names are not case sensitive. So ctemp in lowercase is the same as ctemp all in capitals. Let's clear up one misconception people have when using this method. If the directory exists, it returns boolean true. If the directory does not exist or there's an error, it returns false. So just be aware that the directory might actually exist, but there is a problem with the code or the disk is unavailable. Let's look for some reasons why the disk may not be available. So possible errors, there could be a file permission error. The drive might not be mounted already. Maybe you're using a USB drive and it's not plugged in or a tape drive or some other type of drive. There could also be invalid characters in the directory name. This is very common if you're taking some user input and using that for the directory name. Remember in Windows, these are the invalid characters. So you can't have a slash colon star question mark speech marks greater less than signs or a pipe. Um, so just make sure that you check any user input for these. In Visual Studio, here's how you would use this. So as I said, uh, this is actually a Windows Form project, so make sure you include system.io in whatever class you're using it in. So here I've made a directory name, private string, and when the form is initialized, it will be set to ctemp here. So if the directory exists, then it will say it does exist. And remember, if it doesn't exist, if this returns false, it either does not exist or you can't get to the directory. And 
A reminder that this just returns a boolean, true or false. Let's see if this will run. Okay, so the input's already in the file. Test our code. Okay, so ctemp does exist. If I change it to something else, let's run it. So the directory does not exist or is unreadable. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.